पार्ट फोर एस एस एल सर्टिफिकेट हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर एस एस एल और कम्प्लीट सर्टिफिकेट रिक्वेस्ट इन आई एस एट बाय सच इन सेमी पावर बाय आई टी जी ओ जी डॉट कॉम दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव पार्ट एंड यू आर वॉचिंग पार्ट फोर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस टूटोरियल फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैव लेफ्ट अर्लियर इन अवर प्रीवियस टूटोरियल वी हैव गॉट द एस एस एल सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम द सर्टिफिकेशन अथॉरिटी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्फिगर दैट सर्टिफिकेट इन आई आई एस एट देर आर टू फाइल्स विच वी गॉट फ्रॉम द सर्टिफिकेशन अथॉरिटी द फर्स्ट वन इज विथ डॉट सी आर टी एक्सटेंशन दैट इज आवर एस एस एल सर्टिफिकेट एंड द सेकेंड फाइल इज विथ डॉट पी सेवन बी विच इज अ इंटरमीडिएट सर्टिफिकेट फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्फिगर इंटरमीडिएट सर्टिफिकेट गो टू रन एंड टाइप एम एम सी दैट इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट मैनेजमेंट कंसोल क्लिक ऑन ओके और प्रेस एंटर ऑन द एम एम सी कंसोल विंडो क्लिक ऑन फाइल गो टू एड एंड रिमूव स्नैप इन सेलेक्ट सर्टिफिकेट्स फ्रॉम द अवेलेबल स्नैप इन क्लिक ऑन एड सेलेक्ट कंप्यूटर अकाउंट एंड देन क्लिक नेक्स्ट बाय डिफॉल्ट द लोकल कंप्यूटर इज ऑलरेडी सेलेक्टेड नाउ क्लिक फिनिश इन सेलेक्टेड स्नैप इन द सर्टिफिकेट विल अपियर नाउ क्लिक ओके The certificate snap in is added in the console. After expanding the certificates, you will find Intermediate Certification Authority which is over here. The Intermediate Certificate or certificates completes the chain of root certificate trusted by the browser. Now, right click on the Intermediate Certification Authorities. Click on All Task and then click on Import. This brings up the certificate import wizard. Now let's click next. Click on browse. In the open window, change the extension filter to PKCS hash seven certificates, which is over here. Now browse to the location where you have copied the certificate folder. In our scenario, it is on desktop. Let's double click on the folder and select the intermediate certificate. Okay. Now click open. then click next we have selected the second option place all the certificates in the following store that is intermediate certification authorities now once more click next completing the certificate import wizard you have specified the following setting now let's click finish the import was successful click okay now Let us close the MMC console. Click no. Now let's open IS for further configuration. Right now we are in server certificates. If you don't know how to get to the server certificates, let me show you once again. First click on the server node and then go to the IS section which is over here. Select server certificates. Click on complete certificate request which is over here this brings up the complete certificate request window specify certificate authority response complete a previously created certificate request by retrieving the file that contains the certificate authority response now click on the three dotted button which is over here and browse to the location where we have copied the certificate folder in our case it is on the desktop from the open window filter the file extension to star dot star Now select the .crt file which is our certificate then click open now enter the friendly name in our scenario we are going to type demo ssl.itzoz.com next is select the certificate store for the new certificate in our case we are going to select personal after that click okay once you have done this you will find the certificate details in server certificate window as you can see here Now let's click on sites. Expand the sites folder. Select the site for which we have SSL certificate. For our case it is demo ssl.itzoz.com. Now from the action pane click on bindings. From the site binding window click on add. From the type drop down select https It is short for Hyper Text Transfer Protocol Secure. In IP address field, we will go with the default. 
Next is port that is 443 which has automatically changed when we selected the HTTPS protocol. Now the host name. Here we are going to type our domain name that is demo ssl.itzoz.com. Next option is require server name indication. This is a new feature in IIS 8. By using this feature you can host multiple secure websites on one single IP address. Now from the SSL certificate drop down select the certificate which we have configured that is demo ssl.itzoz.com. Now if I click on the view I can see the certificate. Ok. As you can see over here issued to demo ssl.itzoz.com. Next is issued by GoDaddy Secure Certificate Authority valid from starting date to end date. Click on OK to close the certificate. This is all we have to do over here. Now click OK. As you can see the HTTPS binding is added to the site. Now let's click on close. Now let us also close the IS and go back to our Windows 7 machine. Let's minimize the remote desktop of the server. OK. Now we are on our Windows 7 machine. Let's open Chrome browser and type demo ssl.itzoz.com hit enter as you can see right now this site is working on http let's type https in front of demo ssl.itzoz.com okay colon slash slash and there is s this is https now hit enter now as you can see there is a lock icon and the https is in green if you click on HTTPS it will show you several details. Click on connections. Here you can see the identity of this website is verified by GoDaddy Secure Certificate Authority. If you click on certificate information you will find the certificate. Let's close this certificate. Right now this website is working on both protocols that is HTTP and HTTPS. This completes the part 4 of this tutorial. Don't forget to watch the next part of this video that is part 5 how to redirect the website from HTTP to HTTPS in IS 8. Hello friends thank you for watching our this video tutorial. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video. Share it with your technical IT friends. If you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here. Or catch me on Google Plus, Hangout, Facebook, Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sammy powered by ITCOZ.com and you are watching this on YouTube.